I received my grant in 2008. I was just coming back in Italy after three years here, spent at NIH working on aplastic anemia and PNH. And actually this was terrific to me because uh, it was in the moment that it was not easy to get funding from my own institution, from my government, so uh, I was able to run uh, a huge research in PNH. At that time, we just got a new treatment for the disease, and we were uh, studying additional mechanism, potential mechanism of action of this drug, as well as potential mechanism of disease. And this was really striking because we were able to demonstrate that some patients do not respond to the treatment for specific reasons. And you know, since then, we were able to develop additional agents which are now in phase one clinical trials. So uh, it was really exciting because it was able, I mean, thanks to this grant, we were able to run a terrific research. And on the other end, I have to say that from a personal point of view, it was great because I was able to do my own career, to do my own steps in my career, and uh, uh, I was able to get funding from my lab, and so I was able to run the research, and of course to, to get my uh, professorship in my country. So I, I'm really thankful to the Plastic Anemia Foundation, because actually what the association did was what we suppose you know, the government should do, but you know, especially in these days, you cannot expect that from government because there is no money. So it was great that the patient association was able to support our research, especially for the patients, because we were able to make step forwards in the treatment and also for our own uh, career that, of course, is devoted to, to patients. Yes, I mean, uh, I hope that my research could be useful for patients. Uh, basically, this is our mission, and I'm really um, happy that in the past years we were able to uh, understand, to make steps forward. You know, uh, science, especially in medicine, is not easy. We have to go step by step. But I don't see any other reason than patients. And what is important is that right now we are doing, actually we had started with in vitro data, with experiments, with the lab, but I'm a physician. So the, the possibility to translate all our research from the bench side to the patient, to the bedside, is my goal. And so I'm really excited because I know that from this work that we're, we're starting in 2008, thanks to the AAMDS Foundation, now we are close to the clinic and we have one drug in phase one. We have several other candidate agents that we hope should be in the clinic quite soon. And uh, well, the goal, I mean, actually we have two goals. Uh, the first one is to improve the current treatment, but the second one is also to, to allow the access to the treatment for all patients. For this disease, we have a drug which is the most expensive in the world. And you know, I mean, this is not easy to get, especially in poor countries, but also in developed countries like US and Europe. And now, if we will be able to get a drug which could be cheaper and possibly better in terms of clinical outcome, well, I think that this is the best goal that we could even think about. Okay, maybe my relationship with uh, the AAMDS is in some way limited because uh, right now I work in, uh, in Europe, uh, but my connection with the AAMDS Foundation I think is very important for my research I was able to attend several meetings. I was serving as a um, speaker and as you know, a chairman even to organize these meetings. And actually, it was very important for my knowledge and for my career because I was able to improve my knowledge in the field, but I think also to, to spread this knowledge in other countries, especially Europe. And even if I know this is, you know, 
the American Association, basically, uh, this was very important because I think that the mission of this kind of association is to, to spread the knowledge in all the countries. And actually, I think that my interaction with AAMDS was also useful for a different purpose because uh, I was one of the promoter of the PNH uh, Italian Foundation in Italy, which is a patient, a patient association who I think we started in 2010, something like that, which is very important even to, uh, you know, to debate with the government the access to treatment. And actually, uh, maybe I can give you this uh, example. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a problem to get the drug in Australia, and it was thanks to a letter from the Italian Foundation that uh, the health system in Australia was able to get the drug to these patients. So this is another ex example of how important patient associations are, and not only for the work that they do in that specific country, but also for the uh, power that they may have uh, even in interacting and negotiating with uh, uh, regulatory authorities. I, I told to my fellow in the lab just a couple of months ago, look, this was my experience with AAMDS. You know that we are not able to get any funding from Italy. So, you know, you think that this is impossible? Well, this was not my case. I applied, I got a grant, we were able to do re the research, and from that research, look where we are now. So, you should do the same. You have the uh, capability, you have the expertise, you have everything, and I think, uh, you know, this patient association have just the same goal that we have, just improving the research in the field. So if you are able to do research, you should be able to prepare a good proposal. And well, you may be funding, funded, you may not be funded, doesn't matter. At least you need to participate, you need to improve your knowledge, and this is the challenge. Uh, we cannot work just staying close in our lab. Uh, we need to keep our mission, which is to spread our research. If our research is good enough, I think we will have a very high chance to be funded. And this means that we will make additional step in our research. If not, this means that we have to sit down, we have to think, we have to study, and we have to start from the beginning. But these are opportunities that, as a researcher, you must look forward uh, for, and you need to apply. And I can tell you, uh, the AAMDS grant was the first opp opportunity for myself to be independent, which is, I think, not very important financially, but scientifically. You need to know that you are able to think about the disease, about the problem, about the treatment, and you may have good ideas. And it is only with good ideas that we may improve our treatment. Money is money, but ideas are much more relevant. So this was what I told to my fellow, just to motivate her to, to apply, and she applied. So I got at least you know, the initial goal. Now we will see. And uh, well, we will get some money to do re the research in any case, but I was really happy to, uh, you know, to share my experience with my fellow and to motivate her to do hopefully the same steps that I did. See, I say to uh, you know, the people who give us the money to do this research, that we are sorry. I, I'm a physician, so we are sorry that you have in such troubles uh, with your disease, with the disease of your, you know, relatives, uh, but we are in the same boat. Uh, unfortunately, in these days, your support is really important because the money 
is not enough. Unfortunately, you know, for doing the research, we need money. Both research in the lab, research in the clinic, uh, you are much more than patients. And uh, uh, we have to help each other to do our best. Uh, what we can put is our best efforts, our knowledge, our expertise, uh, our commitment to do research. And you know, according to our job, you have people doing uh, basic science research, you have people doing research in the clinic. Everything is really important. And uh, in these days, we also need your help. You, we need your help with your fundings uh, because we may improve the, you know, the number of research that we can do. And of course, the more we do, the higher chance to get improvements in the knowledge of the biology of the disease, but even more in the treatment for this disease. And we know that, you know, being a patient sometimes give you the feeling that you are alone. So you are not alone. But be aware that on the same side, sometimes we feel alone just because we would like to do something more for you, but we have no power, capability for that. And I think we are much closer than one may think. So we are on the same boat. We have to do all these things together. And if you may support us, well, very, very good. If you cannot, doesn't matter. But we have to, to work together. And sometimes we do something for you, sometimes it's just the opposite. But we have to keep working together. And I think this is the mission of this foundation. And it is very important that you have in the same foundation patients, physicians, researchers, because you, you have all the people involved in the improvement of the care for all these bad disease. And of course, we would be very happy if we would not tell you that you have a disease. But unfortunately, sometimes you have. We cannot forget it. And we have just to do our best to reach the best that we can.